Well, good day, everybody, and welcome to my channel, Whiskey Journey. Today, I've got a whiskey review for you guys, and I'm going to be reviewing this um, new Ardbeg limited edition called Ardbeg Spectacular. Um, I haven't had an Ardbeg limited edition release for many, many years. I think the last time I had a bottle was the Ardbeg Kulpi committee release. Um, I think that was in about 2017. So it's been many, many years. Um, I just haven't bothered with the limited edition releases after that one. I do find them pretty expensive, to be honest, uh, for a new age statement. Um, but this one's a little bit different, um, and I'll tell you why. Um, essentially, this is a, a mix of um, port and bourbon casks, or ex-bourbon, and just a bit of marketing bollocks on the front here. A phenolic phenomenon introducing Ardbeg Spectacular, a distillery first, a rare elixir <laughs> matured in the finest port wine casks, and classic ex-bourbon. This whiskey blends together smoky peat with devilish sweet. Brave a sip and experience the flabbergasting flavors in this inimitable odd bag. non chill filtered, 46% though, ABV. And um, as you can see, the packaging, I really like the packaging to be absolutely honest. Very vibrant, uh, just very interesting, um, fun, I would say. And there's some information there on the back as well. Um, so yeah, first for um, Ardbeg, as they say, um, and I'm a bit of a sucker when it comes to pork casks. Uh, looking at the dram though, that's very light. Um, uh, I wouldn't have, you know, just looking at the at the at the, at the color of the liquid, I wouldn't have thought that that's matured in um, export casks. Um, or they, do they say X? No, they don't. They just say finest port wine casks. My first impression is that's definitely X port casks. Must be. Um, I've had many um, 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 releases from the likes of Ben Riek and, and other, other distilleries where they've done um, maturation in port casks and normally it's a first full port pipe and it comes out a lot darker than this. However, um, I'm not going to be put off by the color. At the end of the day, it's not about the color, it's about the taste. But yeah, my suspicion is um, definitely export wine casks, which might not be a bad thing because you don't want the um, the influence of the port to overshadow the, the peat, which I don't think it will do. Okay, but as usual, guys, um, that's enough waffling from me. Let's get straight into the tasting notes and see what we get. Try the nose first. big smoke and that's a good thing good sign lots and lots of bonfire smoke pear lots of pear caramel sweetness peat definitely some wet earth like a soil type element as well lemon or limes, perhaps. Berry sweetness as well. Strawberries, perhaps. That earthy character really comes out nice and strong on this one. Beautiful. I love that earthiness. More of that pear as well. But led by the smokiness, in my opinion. So quite a lot of interesting notes on the nose, um, quite sweet, um, but I don't feel the sweetness overshadows the, the smokiness that you, you know, the typical smokiness that you get from an odd bag. So overall, quite a promising nose actually. All right, let's just get on to the taste and see what we get. Hmm. Hmm. 
lots of, lots of smoke there in the end. Some pepper at the end as too, some spices. Hmm. Okay, so decent viscosity actually. Medium, I would suggest. Um, greeted with um, smoke initially and some peat, but then it becomes quite sweet. And that strawberry element uh, definitely coming out. Berries, almost um, a jammy feel to it as well. Um, a salted caramel, a little bit of brine, a little bit of smoked fish, which leads into the finish. Lots and lots of smoke. It lingers quite drying though on the finish. Um, sugary sweetness. I think the finish for me, I mean, it's got that dryness that I usually get from an odd bag, but when you have maturation in a pork cask, from my experience, it becomes quite juicy. Um, however, this just remains really consistently dry towards the end. Um, I don't know if that's a negative or a positive as such, but um, mm, that's very enjoyable. Let's have one more sip. Normally, the second sip is normally better than the first. I'm not going to add any water. I don't really think this needs it at 46%, to be frank. Yeah, I love that earthiness that comes out on this one. Right, second sip. I just love that sudden hit of smoke and peat on the end with a pepper, with pepper spice. Again, the viscosity is medium, decent viscosity, not the most, um, hasn't got the most viscosity I've ever had in my life, but good viscosity, loads of peat, jam, strawberries, pear, caramel, but salted caramel with brine, and as I said, um, lemons as well pepper, sugary sweetness in the finish as well. And that um, finish is quite a medium length, I would suggest. Nice. As it goes on and on, that smoke just trails off and trails off sl slowly, but it's a, a nice experience, good experience in the mouth. Um, right, so after two sips, what do I think? Um, do I think it's spectacular, <laughs> as the name suggests? No, I don't think it is spectacular. However, I would say this is a very, very good dram. Do I think it's worth its retail price? Um, no, no, I don't think so. I think if this was about, I don't know, 70 quid, 70 to 80, maybe 80 quid tops, but charging over 100 quid for this, mm, I don't know about that. I think for 100 quid, I'd want, um, you know, I'd want cast strength, natural cut, you know, or, or, you know, I know it is, um, it's not all faulted, but I would want cast strength. I would want to see this at about 50% at least, pushing maybe 55% ABV, um, because I think that then you can start playing around with water, etc. Especially if you're spending that sort of money, I would want something cast strength. Um, we always knew, well, well, we always know that Oddbig is going to be expensive. We know that these limited edition releases are going to be expensive. And... Um, the value for money for me is not there. However, it's a very good experience. And I think this is a good odd bag. Nice little twist as well. If you like a smoky, sweet dram, I think you'll enjoy this. I really, really like this. But I don't know if I would get another bottle. Um, mm, that sugary sweetness is actually lingering quite nicely as well. Just in the finish there. Um, but yeah, good dram. Just not worth the price, in my opinion. Um, I know everything's going up in price these days, and you know life is difficult, etc. But I don't know. Seventy-five to eighty quid, I would say, it'd be you know good. But over hundred quid, no, I don't think it's worth the price. Obviously, 
Um, but yeah, guys, um, that's about it for the Old Bay Spectacular. Um, good dram overall. I like it. Um, just don't think it's worth the price. Okay. Okay, so if you guys enjoy my content, then please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It's always appreciated. But as usual, guys, not much else to say, except have a fantastic day. And I'll see all of you again soon. Take care. Cheers.